Hey everybody, and welcome to our Friday Night Fights, where we are in the final battle to see who goes up against the Gobblers in the championship match. Tonight, we have Team Just Do It, which are obviously the Duo Guard, against Thunder from Down Under, which is a team of Drow. With us, as always, Joshua Blake. Hi guys, Joshua Blake of NPC Voices. Screw Goblins, screw Hobgoblins. Screw Bugbear Chiefs. They all suck. Someone's a little bitter about last week's fight still. But moving on. Moving on. Freaking stupid. And his opponent. In the other corner. Weighing in at 180.5 pounds as of my weigh in last week. Oh, Me. I was like, I was like wait, the drow. And I will be using the drow. Well, he might weigh about that. Drow house captain. Probably I mean, solid. Probably the leader. Yeah. So, we've already rolled up initiative. Um, I believe he obviously gets the first move. I think he wins initiative every single time. I'm not sure. I cheat. I usually cheat. Pretty much. Anyways, I will also, if you if you take notice, I got my new Wormwood box. I'm really excited to use that. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this game started and see who will meet up in the championship match. So let's go. And we're back. <gasps> All right, so... We are in a dungeon. We do have a little bit of, just a little bit of a um, middle section in there, which will add to a little bit of strategy and fun. We kind of just make it up at the beginning of the fight, how the dungeon is designed. It doesn't go to anybody's favor. Um, yeah, I already we are about that. 50 feet apart, so we are good to go. First up is the Duogar. Duogar. It, it looks like a Swedish flag. Followed up by the Warlord. So, so he gets first two moves. These first two ones are going to... 5, 10, 15, 20. And they are both going to throw the javelins at these two. So this one will show his javelin. We shall see. And if my rolls are the same, it shall be crap. Miss. Oh, okay. okay. That will be an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. Roll for damage. That will be... Not bad. That's going to be uh, six damage to okay. the draw. Okay, this one right here. On yes, the far, one one right. far left, my left. Six damage. Very good. Very good. This and, guy. Then, uh, and after he does that, he's going to move in the last ten feet into here, right in there. All right, I like and that. Then like he's that. going to throw his, and that's going to be natural sixteen plus that hits four. As well. And that will be good start for the Durgar. Not Ooh. great. Three damage. All right, very good. And that's from the far outside left, right? Far outside left, and he also will do that five ten, and then that's will in the hands. Okay. Next up will be your Durgar warlord. And I know what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to change. What was that foul noise across the dungeon? I do. From this something. dope little. So this was uh, the Reaper Black Miniature for October. November. October, November. And that... <laughs> Let's go, boys! And that will end his turn. Okay. Take um, 12 points of bludgeoning damage as you run into the ceiling. Oh, fight me. <laughs> okay, so, and that's all he's going to do? It's always going to Lousy. Um, you do have movement. Okay, so, it's up to you. Next up is I've got the Drow House Captain, followed up by um, Crud. Crude, as you're supposed to say it. Handcuff Road, is that real? Or... Remember, it's it's the reload action. That's like the whole weird separate free action. I don't really get reloading still. Like it's I... been explained to me by Just a Little Nerd. It's been explained to me by like Chris Perkins at Chris Perkins. Explain reloading to me. Like I want a face to face coffee. And dinner, I will pay for the dinner. I am going to, after your little rant, yeah, I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to shoot that guy in the back. Mm -hmm. No, the guy in the back. Oh, oh, back there. Oh, he's back. Not like I'm, in the back. No, not in, in the, the back. back. So, English language. Cocked. Cocked. Yeah. 15 to hit? No, 16 to hit. 16 to hit? Are you sure? Yes. Positive. It's a plus four. That will barely hit. That does hit. Okay, good, 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 good. That's going to be um, 
That's with the arrow, and I need you to make a DC um, 13 Constitution save. Four as them? you take, yes, as you take five points of piercing. Uh, that'll be 14 to save. That saves. All right, so five points of uh, piercing only. Okay. Uh, that'll be... And I will end his turn. Three. Oh, that's him. That's yeah. him. Whew. So does it still hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually... Sorry. Sorry, guys. One well, moving as you go. No, that does not hit. I'm sorry about that. He does not hit. Okay, so no damage then. No damage, sorry. Uh, I was looking at... This is why you get different miniatures. I literally have a horde of maybe 2,000... Uh, maybe not 2,000. Maybe roughly like five to 1,000. 500 to 1,000. And I still don't have enough miniatures. Okay, and this guy is going to run up and hand crossbow and... Um, I'm going to shoot this guy since I don't feel like he yeah. has a great shot on him. Um, that's fine. So that's going to be a 10 to hit. That misses. Hit. I'm not using the Wormwood Malachite dice anymore because I rolled you absolutely You should shit. roll it one more. Once more. Give it one more try. It probably will be a so that misses, That's and, and then the Drow House Captain. You could give it one more time. Did you shoot both times? Oh, you shot that guy. Gotcha. Their armor class is a huge huge difference here. That is what's going to change a lot of this. So we're, we're right there. That's going to end my turn. And next up is going to be your stone Durgar, stone guard, followed up by your Durgar, followed up by your warlord. So you've got the next four turns, basically. Three turns but four men. This is not going too well. Five, ten. Yeah, five, ten. Fifteen. 20, 25. And he's going to enlarge as well. <laughs> That's just one tall dwarf. That's even <laughs> Oh, come again? <laughs> I, I thought you had said that. Voice acting, guys. Okay, and that will end his turn. Great turn. Back up at the top of the round. How many do you have? Four. Okay. Top. Well, then you Durgar. Durgar. The last two. They're both going to enlarge. They're tall. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah, go enlarge. Come on. Hurry up now. They are huge. The spacing is going to be interesting in this It's going to be beautiful. I like it already. I mean, they're, they're bigger than they would actually be, but that's okay. Yes. So, and that ends our turn? Yeah. All right, you got the Warlord up next. Okay. So everyone's blocking his way. He can't get through those fat fucking... <laughs> He's going to push through using half his movement. Five. Three, well, they're... Even in large dwarves are only taken up. Fifteen. They're only considered a large, right? Uh, medium. Or even? Medium to large, yeah. They go one what size up. Say? Yeah, um, one size up. They're in large, increases in size along with anything. In while in large, the Durgar is large. Yeah, large. That's what I thought. So, would they take up how much? Huh? How much size would they take up? A large? They're not going to take up much more than a square then, still. Um, as far as space. But yeah, then he makes they it just can't five, pass. 10, 15, 20, yeah. 25, 30. And he's going to be in range of both of them pretty much. And he's gonna swing on the one on the right. Okay. Let me let me make sure he doesn't have any super cool things that he can do. So going over to you, uh, he's just got some beatdown skills. I thought he was gonna look over his characters prior to the game. Far right, uh, his right. Yes. Hits. That, yeah. Okay. And then the one They're on the only at fifteen. And you one on the left. Seven, so that's Doesn't, gonna miss. And then he's going to swing again on that same one. Natural 17. So hit, miss, hit. Yeah. Would, yeah. One on each. One on each. Okay. Um, damage for the guy right here first. Yep. That's going to be 2d10. Oh my god. And then 1d10 psychic. What's his bonus? Plus four. Oh, this is automatic death. Oh my no, gosh. It's not, no, no. That's five bludgeoning. Uh, so five. Wait, you rolled 2d10 plus 4 and only got 5? Five. 5, sorry. 5. 9 damage okay. from the bludgeoning and... 
9 damage from the Psychic. From the first one. So he gets just clobbered and just crushed into oh, the ground. Oh, down, we fight! And then he brings around the second one on the... Misses, and the third hits. Yeah. <laughs> he hits, and he's like, huh, You're a little small. That was more than six seconds. So I'm gonna okay. disallow okay. that attack. So All right, hey, stab yeah. you in the balls. You want to be all cute about it? Ball again. Wow! Wow! That sucks. Uh, that's six damage. Oh my god! Plus okay, a three psychic nine. Oh, he missed it, but he's got one. Oh my god! One hit point left. So he because he only did three the first time. <laughs> really? Come on. Nice hits, Dwarf, but uh, I think we can do a little better than that. And that will end... Anything else? I don't think you can do anything else. Mm-hmm. Sorry, there is, there is, there is... There's nothing. Something Stop. he can do. Here we are. Okay, yeah, that'll end start. Wow. Just like I said 20 minutes no, ago. There's... Okay, so my turn. We will, he will turn and attack the big boy without much hope. Eh, short no, you got this. That's going to be a seven to hit. Battle my hand. This is pretty much out of sheer just fear. And then these guys, <laughs> he will come up. Is, this is going to be nasty. No, you know what? Hand crossbow. Okay. Hand crossbow. 15 to hit. I missed that. That doesn't hit. Damn it. I can't roll worth crap. And he's going to come right here. Just move a little bit and hand crossbow. And that one. That will not hit. Okay, so. <laughs> well, he would be a little that. bit skittish tonight. Five. Ten. Can you attack from there? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I'll say it. Yeah, so the house captain here. gets uh, three attacks, two with the scimitar, one with his whip. So, scimitar, scimitar, the malachite is the whip. Natural 20. Nat 20. Malachite is the whip, you said? Yeah. Ni- Nat 20, 19, and 20. Okay, Wait, so... Nine, the, what was the first one? 19? Nat 20, yeah. 19, and... 20. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Those all hit. Okay, so this might that's be good. Uh, now this is terrible damage. No, though. this might be the end of it. It's terrible damage. So that's oh, and then he's got 46 poison. Uh, do you so, have six? Why didn't I grab an extra six? Do you have six? Uh, we'll sure. Um so how much was the first bludgeoning? Hold on. Wow. Oh the bludgeoning is three, doubled is six, so ten points of slashing, I mean. Ten points of slashing. Ten points slashing, okay. Yep. From the crit. Now this is the poison, which is six, six, three, and one, which is twelve, fifteen, sixteen, doubled is thirty-two poison. Have because you got resistance. So sixteen points of poison damage. Oh baby, that's gotta sting a little Perfect. bit. Perfectly. Wait, that was his um first that was attack. his first hit. So yeah. what do I do about the other two attacks? They don't, they don't matter anymore. Can I split my movement? Sure. I mean he didn't sure, attack. Yeah. He would have been dead. Well, you said you used both attacks on him. I'll chop so, up his dead body. Okay, you chop up his dead body. You said you chop up his dead body. What are you doing? You said you chopped up his dead body. He's going to come out here. Um, I'd say he could... Um, him. hold on. No, I can't do anything else. Okay, that's going to end his turn. Really? Okay. Yeah, and next, next up is... Drago the Drow? Yeah, they all sucked. Okay. Did I really miss all three draw attacks? Oh, we'll have to gang up on the guy with one hit point. He's real tough. Actually, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he was here in five. And then he's got a reach of ten feet. Does he really? I'm pretty sure when you're in Marge. No. It wouldn't make much sense to be in Marge and then only have a reach of five feet. Yeah, but how many large creatures have a reach of ten feet? Not very many. I think almost all of them. Giants? Yeah. They don't have five feet reach. Ogres. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh. I don't know. Ten. Well, look at his, because that's the only one that matters. Oh. Natural 14 to hit the drow either way. And that's going to be... Yeah, like Minotaur large, five foot reach. 
Actually, it doesn't matter what I roll. He's dead. Yeah, he's one hit point. A hit is automatic death. So he moved forward 5, 10. Then he's going to turn around and see what else there is. 5, 10, 15. Oh, that's it. He moves here. That's as close as he can get. Yeah, ogre five foot reach. I'm telling you. You gotta be bigger than a large. A few larges might. Yeah, you halberd for a spear. Thank you. And he's going to turn around. Okay. Five, Bring it on! This is what 10, I want. This is what I want. 15, 20, 25. Did you really move him on purpose? Good job. Yeah. Okay, does that end your turn? No, he's going to attack. Who? Wait, which is the stone guard? And which is the two Duragar? The stone guard started on the left, right? They're over here. Which... He was one of these two, I believe. No. No, he was one of these two that yeah, I'm still he's alive. gonna be this one. He's okay. gonna be this one. Yeah. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that, that ends my turn as a Duragar. Thank you. Okay. But the stone guard would've went before them. Duragar at the top of the turn. It would've been stone guard, then the Duragar. But it doesn't matter. They're both going before Fine. I go, so... Whatever. He's over here. He Stone Guard is going to attack Sargas. Um, so Stone Guard... He goes first next time, remember that. Yeah. Oh, this guy's going to be dead anyways. So... He will be dead. Mark my words, people. He will be dead. He will not get another turn. So make this a good attack. Yeah, I know. The I dice know. goes in the dice um, box. The large of ability to Like this, watch. Actually, he's really, yeah, as, as he's moving, he's going to go and just disappear. Okay, cool. And that will end his turn. Now it's back up. He did his thing. He attacks. Now it's his turn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? Around, he's gonna throw that javelin that he has. How many javelins does he have? I, if we're going by the same rules that we have, if it's all it's attacks, how many attacks he gets. he'll have three. So he'll throw the first one. Mm -hmm. Natural 13 plus 7, dirty 20. That hits. Natural 19. Well, one, you might want a little damage on those okay. guys first. Okay. Before doing it. But we'll count that. So because I'm, well, no, yeah. Yeah, let me just roll this. Um, Javelin is 2d6. 11 plus 4. 15. That kills him. That's, he, was, okay. he was the only one you had to hit. Yeah. Re -roll. You've only got 13 hit points. Let me so then you throw another javelin at him? Nope, that one doesn't hit. Okay. And then last one. That didn't hit. I don't think. Yeah, no. No way. Okay. So he throws his other fuse. <laughs> Pretty poor accuracy for a big guy, I guess. And that will end his turn. All right, then. So, the drow's turn. As we look at these uh, disgusting dwarves. In their big pants. In their big <laughs> chain mail, whatever. Dick. And first will be the... Uh, <laughs> the will be oh, I only have one left. Son of a gun. Um, so he will move up. How, where, what direction is he going? He's going right here. Okay. How many spaces are we going to say the dra uh, the Durgar take up? One? Yeah, only one. Or like two? Only Just one? one? Yeah. Okay. They're large. Okay. We're trying to give them too much. They're not much, they're not, um, gargantuan. Okay. Come on, dude. That's hard. They're like eight feet tall. I thought large took up four spaces. I don't know. It's up to you. Four spaces large? Have you looked at the okay real quick guys? Sorry guys. Show them this. It was a monster. I just want to make wait, is that the size? Is that the size? No, it shows size yeah. category. Ten by ten. Yeah. Ten by ten. I thought so. Ooh. You knock into wow. it. Okay. You you as you're running past you boom, kind of hit into a large He creature. bumps into it and he still focuses on his target and shoots his hand crossbow at this guy. Huh? Stops there? He's, why are you pushing forward? He I stopped just, where I had him. Yeah, he stopped right there. He's there. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> I want what he said. Don't move my guys. 
14. That misses. Will not hit. Okay, so that will end his turn. Okay. Exciting for the drow. Um, <coughs> okay, so the drow house captain will go, and he will. When they're coming out of invisibility, do they have advantage on the attack? I don't think so. Okay. Now they have some type of. Are you serious on a on a freaking attack? Reaction, reactionary attack. All right, all right. So that's going to be. Oh, and this this actually isn't the good one. Dang it. Let's just yeah. Yeah, this is the sad one. <sighs> this is stupid. This is dumb. Okay, he does two d six. This is only fair. I got an F twenty already. Did you really? Six. Miss? Six. That's ten damage to him. Ten damage. That's stupid. I rolled two d six and I got hey, a one and least, a two. At least you got the nat twenty. Would have been even worse if you didn't. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, okay, so uh, can I continue with my turn yes, now? You can. Now I'm that you're taking your cheap shot. Okay. So, I will go ahead and two scimitars and a whip, same thing. Two scimitars of these, the whip is the uh, Malachite. That's gonna be a, what am I, plus yeah, eight? Yeah, So 20, no. 19, yes. and the whip misses. So the two scimitars hit. So the first scimitar, first scimitar is gonna be um, five oh. points of slashing. Okay. And then 9, 11, 15 have seven points of poison. Okay. All right. Okay. And the second, six points of slashing. And 8, 11, 15, another seven points of poison. Are you kidding me? Come on, you. <laughs> Brothers, I'm <coughs> not feeling too good. And he will say, uh, before his turn ends, he will say, Boy, can you please shoot this stupid dwarf and kill him? And then he can use his, uh, um, and he gives him a, uh, reaction to make one melee attack. What? Melee. Not rage, yeah. Damn it. So yeah, I guess he'll have to attack him. Well, Damn it! I really wanted to kill him. Natural 20. Okay. 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 We're working with something. I here. think that'll hit. One d six. Well, it's, it's horrible though. But ooh, not not so much when you roll a five. Twelve points of piercing damage as he turns around, just feels invigorated from his drow house captain giving him a command. Finally, a command. Yeah, battle command. You said command. What did I say? You said command. No, I said connect. Uh, battle connect. So. <laughs> As he turns and just <laughs> slashes, <laughs> causing uh, some serious piercing damage. Um, so now that's what in my turn. Up next for you will be the uh, the stone guard, and he's gonna my turn, and he's gonna bring his blade down. Which one do I choose? That's a twenty. Just make sure you yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Just make I'm sure. not blind. I have my glasses on tonight. I can back. see much better. It's one in the corner. I need it for my 4d6. No. No. You know what, but I'll grab a new one. That's going to be 14 plus 4 damage. Yeah, 18 damage. 18 piercing. On. Oh, he's dead. He's gone. I mean, my drive has 13 hit points. You're going to take that back then. I don't need it. No, I don't need it anymore either. Why not? Take your stupid dice. You can take your stupid I dice. I have 4d6 now. Dice. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Metal and just start. Okay. Warrant to maneuver here. All right. So it's your uh, Durgar's turn, followed up by your warlord. Okay. Durgar is going to make just a straight attack because I'm an idiot. Okay. Natural twenty. Are you fu- You rolled natural twenty three straight times on that. Three screen. straight times. Oh. And that's the war pick, too. What are the... What are the odds? What are the odds of three straight natural points? This is not good. This is the only way you're going to win. No. 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 Yes. 
the only way. Because you cannot beat the, the thunder from down under. Not fairly. Plus two. So that's 16 damage. Oh, I thought that would actually be good damage. That's, a, that's literally, literally you broke his, his fingernail off. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smarts quite a bit. Mm. Okay. Okay, that will end his turn. And now you got this boy. Okay. You're a warlord. What's um, he gonna do? Ten, five, She'll be like, one more time, brethren! And they can use their reactions to attack. One on the right. They can do that? Yep. Do they have to see him? Nope. Up to three allied Durgar within 120 feet of this uh, Durgar that can hear it can each use their reaction to make Mines one Mines has attack. to see it. How yeah, is that fair? Well, yeah, obviously. Natural what? one. Good job. So good swing. Misses. Fair swing. I like that. Natural one. Okay, good job. So, so both of them. Three nat 20s, now two, two nat 1s in a row. Nat we one know what he's rolling next. If he rolls a nat 1 next, that's going to be crazy. Cara. Okay, so. And that will end his turn. Because I think he can only do that with his action. It's called to attack. All right, so I'm in melee with both your guys. Yes. I am going to attack this guy first with my scimitar, and I'm going to go separately just to see, because I might kill somebody. I don't know. Okay. 17 to hit. Doesn't hit. What is your armor class? You, you said this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't hit. Stone guard? Is yeah. 18? Yeah. Same guy? 14, yeah. And, and then the same one? Way. Last guy? Yeah. Natural 20. He's okay. Dead. He's dead. Just take him off the board. The whip? Oh, no. no the whip does nothing. Bring it. Bring that whip deep. on the stone guard. Okay. 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. He's still up. And he poisoned? Um, no, not, not with the whip. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He coated yeah. poison. Okay. So I missed both attacks on him. Unbelievable. I thought I would drop both of them in that turn. I should have. You should have attacked him. No, I gotta get them both dead. He was the one with one hit point. Yeah, but I could have killed them both in one turn. I just needed to hit. Okay. Okay, top of the round. Saying, I just needed to Durgar turn. is going to make an attack. Natural 13 plus 4, I think. No. Yeah, plus 4. 17 to hit. Um, 16, I'm going to use parry. That misses. Okay. I have to. I okay. have to. Ping. He just... <laughs> Ooh, hot stuff coming in. Next one. Yeah, he just went. He just went. Never mind. Okay. Um, and then it's going to be his turn. Five, ten. And now. No, the Stone Guard, then the Duragar, then the Warlord. You keep forgetting Stone Guard goes last in the rounds after me. Yeah, this is the Warlord. Right. Stone Guard. Oh, Duragar, oh. Warlord. Sorry. Right. Then. Yes. So the stone guard should have just gone. I keep messing that up. Sorry. Next is Durgar. Next is Durgar. Durgar's going to attack. You even wrote it down. I know. I know. Nine plus what? That's going to be plus. Uh, I think. Five. Miss. Yeah, I don't think that hurts. No. You need a plus eight, and that's or plus seven. Uh, that's a fifteen to hit. Nope. Nope. Okay. Misses. Just misses. Okay. Misses. So <gasps> wait, he has advantage because he's got a Durgar within five feet of him that wields a shield. What are they? Kobolds or something? He has a uh, failings formation. The door guard has advantage on attack rules and dexterity saving throws while standing within five feet of the door guard where he will be issue. All right, go for it. Door guard are freaking real. Never mind, that was for him. No, no, no. Yeah, he misses. Sorry. Okay. I was going back to him, then I had to switch back to him, all and right. then we're all good. He moves up behind. Blah, 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 blah. First attack against him with advantage. Mm, sketchy, but I'll get it. Natural 16 plus it 7. It hits. And then we roll this one next. For a second attack, natural 12 plus 7 hits. Last one. This is it. Oh, this is painful. Natural 19 plus 7. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be 2d10 plus 1d10 every time. That's only, that's only going to be not that much damage. You got this. Come on. You got another round in you. That's 7 bludgeoning. Okay. Nice and some feathers, please. And, okay, 15. That's 15 for the first one. 15. And Quick then, pops. Uh, 13 plus 4, 17, 26 on the second 41, one. Yeah, 41. And then... 
punch again. Uh, seven. Forty-eight. Plus, uh, 54. 54. Okay. 54 damage. That stings a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And, and he's almost halfway dead. <laughs> he's a tank. Okay, wow. end your turn. Oh, end your turn. Alright, so, I'm going to attack, we'll attack this guy first. Okay. Seeing that that guy's a pretty tough target, where's my 20? Natural 20. He's done. Oh, he's yeah, dead. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, then he will... What is he turning to? Turn to this guy and attack him with the other second scimitar attack. Are we counting that? Yeah. It's a miss. It's okay. going to be a 15. And then... The whip. Trout Hits. Yes. With the whopping... Only four. You could roll, um, really, you could roll really high. Yeah, I do as hard as I can. Eight points of slashing damage. Okay. God, if I I've missed three times, <coughs> it could be dead, and it could be a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which I'm I'm fine with. And okay. I'm gonna stay there because moving would be detrimental to my health. And okay, now it's his turn. Yeah. He's moving inside. Oh, I need this attack. Natural seventeen plus five. I think it's over. I think it's over, people, for the Drow House Captain. No plus this, six. This, yeah, it's hits. You know it hits already. You sure? Yeah. You could parry? Um, no, because that attack wouldn't help anyways. Five plus four, so nine damage. Nine damage. damage. First one. Okay. And yeah, then, I don't think I'm making it. I might not make it out of this round. That ends his turn and back up to him. Yeah, this could do it though. He's got three attacks with advantage. Fifteen plus seven. It's, or plus nine. It's, oh, no. Count that. Um, Hits. Okay. Last one. All you need to do is roll um, nat 20. So let's go with the nat 20 first. Yeah. Yeah, just go ahead and get it out of the way. Oh boy. This is going to hurt. Uh, right, so I'll start putting my dice out. 18. That's what you do when you're about to get pounded in the submission. 22 normal damage plus uh, 22 normal. I'm so sorry, guys. 22. 26 damage. Okay. On the critical. And then that's gonna be 13. Uh, 20 damage on the second one. Mm, very nice, very nice. I'm proud of you. And then. Ah! 11 plus 4, 14, 15, uh, 15 plus 2, so 17. Alright, so he's gonna walk. He just gets knocked all around. <laughs> We've got this. Come on! He likes the blood from his mouth. Mm. Very oily. Oi. And you ten. That'll run your I'm gonna gut you pigs, you dwarven pigs. Now you've pissed me off. As he says, all bloody, battered, and bruised. And I'm going with the Malachite. Attacking the Stone Guard. I don't think that'll hit. 16, no. 19? 19 hits. Okay, this this, this, is, this is probably gonna be it for him. Oh, for him, but yeah. I'm done. Um, so what, what am I doing? One, two, six. Uh, eight points. Okay, he's about plus, da uh, plus poison. So eight points of damage, and then the poison is gonna be half, so seven, 12, 13, six more. Was. He's dead. And then I will turn and I will do as Devo once said and whip it, whip it good. 23. To yeah, hit. Hit. And I'm going to use um, Lasso of Entanglement, which paralyzes you automatically. Okay, just well. Six points of whipping damage! You Slashing. got him to good 69. Yeah, you're down. Okay. That was the first time he was... And then as soon as his turn is over, he, he whips you, <sighs> comes back, drops his whip on the ground, and crosses himself. I could roll horribly. And goes down on... Oh! And drops to the ground. From... He does? Can I? <laughs> sure. Do you want to? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Okay. God. Okay. Second attack. The well. first one was a 14 to hit, I think. Yeah, 14 to hit. Yeah, we'll miss. 
12 to hit. Miss. Give it to me. Come on. Give me a chance. I dare you to give me another round. 14. This is ridiculous. It's a repeat of last week. No. Woo! Okay, now the drow house captain, after just deflecting all three shots, he literally goes like this. I don't he just starts. There. Here it it's comes. gonna be the repeat of the freaking wyvern fight. Here comes the pain, okay. baby, and I can just roll all this these on so you. Dumb. Same thing. The malachite is the wit. This is so dumb. Miss, miss. Sixteen misses, right? Yeah. And that one hits. The whip hits. Screwed up. I'm just rolling horrible tonight. At five points of slashing damage, and he hits with the whip. So two misses with the sword. I was hoping to end with a good sixty-nine. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. I don't really need I to tell you there. I had a chance there. Oh, yeah. Hit, 17, 16, 19. Hit, hit, hit. Are you sure? Yeah, I okay. parry won't even stop any of those. Okay. I have parry and that wouldn't do it. Because that only gives me a 19 okay. armor class. That's going to be a... He's dead. 12. He's dead. He only has 10. And then there's going to be... Yep, that. Why do we like to continue yeah. rolling when we kill the other one? And then that's like uh, 400 damage. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> You're so then, cool. As he bludgeon inward, inward into the last one. This is gorgeous. This is for Advar. Don't ignore This is for Skurin. And this is for Floria. I got fire and dice. <laughs> and as he crushes down into yeah, the cool, right? I'll, I'll, I'll uh, zoom in on here so you can ignore this trash. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations on the great match. Let's get back to the battle. Ready and... All right, everybody, and we are back. And let's go ahead and close this thing out. So, as you just saw it, Just Do It wins the match fairly easily. You had, what, almost 70 hit points left still? 64. 64 hit points left. Ugh, the numbers at the end just got to me with the advantage. Um, that really hurt. And I could not roll at all. With a plus eight, I should have been able to hit more than that. I had over a 50% chance to hit. Um, anyways, so congratulations to everybody who got that one right. Just Do It wins it. And they will now match up against the Gobblers in the championship match. So we will be posting that fight, of course, um, tonight to vote and make your picks for that championship fight. And I'm going to be tallying up um, who's where to see um, who's got this thing, who's in line for the mini. And I did speak incorrectly earlier. I said the Frost Giant mini, that was our last Friday Night Fights giveaway. The winner of this one w wins a mini of their choice up to $25 value. So it could be any mini. You can order a Hero Forge Specialized. You can order something off of Reaper, something off of e uh, um, Amazon. It's up to twenty-five dollar value. That's what I put. Oh. Yeah. So they pretty much get just about anything. You can get a um, the um, WizKids Dragons too. I think they're that's there. true. So yeah. So um, see who's winning this thing. I have no clue actually. So Josh, thanks again for helping us out with these fights. Always. Thank you. Yeah. And don't forget to follow him at NPC Voices on Instagram and Twitter. Right. Yeah. 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 And don't forget to follow us here at fire.and.dice on Instagram to track the fights, to make your votes, and to follow and see a lot of other DD content. And also, I am now on Twitter as well, which is at underscore fire and dice, um, which will be different content on that. So follow me there as well. So thank you everybody for watching um, and stay tuned for more videos. Yeah. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Be see safe. you later. Make your decisions. Yeah. Follow your heart. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Stay Drive school. fast and don't get do chances. drugs. Um, don't hang out with people. Alright, that sums it up. Let's go. See you later. Yep. See you guys. Bye. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs>